and so we've got a few little things we'd like to present to you and uh, let's see there Miss Martha did you want to present him a few of those things here? Go ahead and do it there. Okay well first of all uh, I was just gonna uh, say we've uh, got uh, a veteran's uh, World War II hat. This was uh, actually uh, uh, part of uh, one of his uh, floral arrangements for the service, you know, and mm -hmm. and Miss Martha wanted you to have that hat, and you know she wanted you to have a marine insignia that uh, that uh, you know he was. Well, he's got one on the back of his car. He sure does. He, he sure does. And and so this right here. Now you don't want to take this to school. That's a little pocket knife right there. But that's, he loves that. That's just for whittling, and and when you're doing some of your scout activities or whatnot. These are just a couple of photos. <laughs> a couple of photos right there. And now these uh, right here, this is a uh, coin that when my uh, dad uh, turned 90 years old, my brother Justin had this coin minted. And uh, on one side, it's got uh, his Corsair airplane and, and the seven uh, casualties that that he saved a lot of lives by uh, taking out some of the kamikazes. And, and so that's on one side. And then on the other side is the Oro Keith Museum of Art that, uh, that, that my dad built down on the front beach. Uh, he built that in honor of our mother who uh, had passed uh, years ago. And so these are a couple of those coins we'd like for you to have. And, and that's just a little picture of him with uh, some of his earlier medals. And we're going to give you one of our uh, cookbooks. It's Cooking on the Coast. Now, you know, you, you, maybe a little later you'll enjoy some of these recipes, but we've got a little note to you in there. And we just want you to know how special your, your uh, honor was to us. And then this book here is our 150th uh, anniversary book where we uh, celebrated the, uh, actually the history of our family uh, when we migrated here from Ireland uh, after the potato famine and, and started in the business following the Civil War. And so there's a nice uh, pictorial history in here. It's kind of like a little, and there's a nice note here for you. And uh, so we just wanted to give you these items and we felt kind of bad that, uh, you know, we, we later learned that you know, the whole idea you had was to see that horse drawn hearse, you know, and, uh, but what made it even more special for us was that uh, when that motor hearse passed by and it was still raining and everything, you didn't just turn and leave, you stayed there respectfully, you know, for the whole service. And uh, that was, uh, you know, very, very special to us. And, and so, but I did want to, you know, give y'all the opportunity to walk over and see the horse-drawn hearse in the uh, in the livery stable. It's, uh, uh, you know, just let you take a look at it. I, I don't have the horses here today, but uh, I'll tell you that uh, the next time, you know, we we sometimes bring that thing out for uh, parades and whatnot. And the next time we saddle up, I'm going to give you a call. And let you know about it and uh, see maybe you can come down there and and uh, take a little ride on there for me maybe, right. even, maybe even drive the horses a little bit you know all right there all oh, right buddy. we so excited I appreciate you there. <laughs> you want to walk over and see that hearse yeah. Yeah. 